Hey Urban Girl, today I had the chance to attend the Her Legacy Gala on the campus of Columbia University along with Esme Richmond who was a correspondent for the blog. We had the chance to meet some great amazing CEOs, girl bosses, women who are dominating their fields, whether it's in politics, media, communication, the criminal justice field. These women were amazing and they were dropping gems all day. Speaking from experience, I was one of those people who wanted it all. Mm -hmm. I wanted the, the house, the husband, the kids, the big position, mm -hmm. the big money, the, the materialistic things. I wanted it all. Right. I almost killed myself trying, trying to get it all. Mm -hmm. And when I got it all, I realized that, hmm, maybe that's not so important anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and I think a lot of women may come to that conclusion that balance is more important than all of those things. We really just have to push the envelope back. The challenge is, to us, is always be your best. Bring your best. And I feel like more women need to own who they are, whatever it is. Whoever you are, you need to embrace that. Coming from a school in Staten Island where there's a lack of resources available, um, I wanted to target lower income, um, underserved populations, um, especially to empower these young girls to pursue executive corporate positions in business, law, and politics. And so when I was around 14 or 15, I had the idea with my us co founder. And we started the nonprofit, and you know it's taken off from there, and we hope to continue it throughout college. My background is in fashion, and so I was running, um, I was assistant manager at a store called Plymouth Shops, which mm -hmm. is like now defunct, but it was catered specifically to career women. Mm -hmm. So it was the nine to five career woman. It was blouses with you know the bow tied and the skirts and the you know, and it was very sort of very asexual, not, you know, and it, it was very masculine, with big shoulder pads, you know, and, you know, we thought it was great at the time, but looking back, it's like, wow, we were, really we, hiding. we were really hiding. And so I think there's a lot of women coming into entrepreneurship because they want to be there at the football game. Mm -hmm. They want to be at the dance recital, right. you know, I missed so much mm -hmm. with my kids growing up because I traveled four days a week, home on Friday and back out on Monday for eight, nine years. Mm. And so now in the age of digital, um, you know, communications and, and management, you can work from anywhere. Yeah, that's you can true. work from anywhere. And so I think women see that now and they say, you know what? I want to be at that recital. So I'm going to go into entrepreneurship so I can balance. Right. So you think the entrepreneurship field as a better balance as a woman, Absolutely. as a mom? Okay. I, I think so. If I'm working this hard, <laughs> and I've got these ulcers going on here, and I sleep four hours a night, what would happen if I put that energy in my own thing? The original concept, which was, let's open up a place where women can get their makeup done, <laughs> to a salon that I feel is about creating a community for women that is a safe space for them to discuss their happiness, their sadness, their concerns about life, about beauty, about their careers. Um, that's what it's really turned into. We want you to feel good about yourself. We want you to feel confident in the way that you look so that when you go out into the world, mm -hmm. you can be your best self. Because I truly believe that women who feel like their best selves accomplish more. <laughs> so in a way, we're doing that, that's our, that's our role in women's lives, is helping them accomplish what they really want to because they feel confident mm -hmm. and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like that. If people spent less time talking about what they were doing than actually doing it, then more things would be done. Right. <laughs> Which is another sense of power. Shout it and do it. Um, and, and so basically it's really just born out of this desire to really find ways for people to empower themselves in a society that was really allowing us to have a lot more power.
but we weren't using sometimes the right formats to do it, right? Like pulling back. So statistically, right, women are 50% of the world's population. We have a $20 trillion spend, $20 trillion spend. Um, 86%, um, according to some studies, of household decisions are made by women as far as purchasing. Um, up to 53% of women in one study said that they um, bought a brand because they liked the way it represented them. We have all this power. We have money behind this power, but we're not in places that show all of this power. So I was like, that, that doesn't really work for me. So what am I going to do about that? I was going to say the biggest thing for any type of, whether that be movement or organization that you try to start or create or found or pieces a strong team. You need people who believe in your vision and understand it well enough mm -hmm. to then be ambassadors and advocate for you. Mm -hmm. Because it's one thing for you to have these conversations in which you're trying to like pitch your ideas to people and get them really interested. But when you have people collectively who are surrounding you who are just as excited about the work that you're doing and can then take it on as their own, mm -hmm. that's when the magic really happens. Two things I always tell uh, someone that I'm mentoring is one, do the work, do the research. You know, don't walk into a room um, having more questions than you have knowledge. You know, do your research, who's in the room, um, what does someone need, uh, and how can you fill that capacity. So do the work, one. And two is be memorable. You know, you can be the smartest person and you can have a lot of accolades, but if no one remembers you, they're not gonna know to call you. They're not gonna know to, hey, let's, let's check out this girl and see if she can bring to the table. We were both challenged to look within ourselves and to ask ourselves, what is my legacy? Whether it was financially, spiritually, academically, or even career-wise. So, as you go through life, Urban Girl, ask yourself the simple question, what is your legacy?